One of the coolest JRPGs on the NES is totally an overlooked game. In today's episode, we're going to look at five hidden gems on the Nintendo that you can pick up for under $40. What's going on everybody? I'm Screech, this is Retro Card Collector, and since our last video about those cheap Nintendo games, I have dug through all my couch cushions looking for spare change, everything I could find, so I could bump that price point up from about that $20 to that $40 range. There's some really cool hidden gems you can get for under 40 bucks. Game number five on my list is going to be a side-scrolling action-adventure game that gets compared a lot to Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, and it's going to be The Battle of Olympus. This one you can pick up between like $15 and $23, and it's an awesome game. We're going to play as Orpheus, whose wife has been kidnapped by Hades and taken down into the underworld, and we're trying to rescue her. Now, this one has a lot of cool visuals. Some of the forests can get a little kind of back to back and a lot of the adventuring is, is fun and interesting there is a bit of a spike in the difficulty at one point but other than that this is a super super fun game if you haven't played battle of olympus it is awesome i really enjoyed adventuring around playing this one finding like the secrets talking to all the characters all the characters that you end up talking to they're actually really helpful and it really makes the game a lot better some of the bosses are random and difficult but other ones are just like super super easy this is totally a hidden gem that needs to be checked out i had a lot of fun playing this one if you haven't checked out the battle of olympus check it out it's such a cool game game number two on my list you can pick up between like 18 and 24 dollars and it's a really cool one it's gonna be clash at demon head now clash at demon head kind of starts out it's that side scrolling platformer adventure type game and that's interesting but this game really stands on its own when you hit the map the map is like totally open you can go wherever you want you pick your paths and you're adventuring around it's kind of got an anime feel to it when you run into some of the characters that are going to talk to you it's really cool because you can find so many items and it's just a fun experience all around as you're cruising along trying to get to that last area and again you can go any which way you could Play this different ways every single time you play it, which I think makes this one a lot of fun. Clash of Demon Head is an awesome game. Number three on the list is gonna be Flying Warriors. This is one that I picked up at Early Rad Weekend. I got this one from the Pick and Preacher himself. What's up? And this is a really, really fun game. It's one that I, I think I'd seen the cover of, but I'd never really played. It's interesting because there's some different styles to it. This one's really cool because it's got like three different genres inside of it that you get to kind of play as it starts out and you're in like this fighting game you're doing kung fu it's it's interesting the further on you get in the game it does get a little difficult and I, I don't i've never been able to do some of the moves that it tells me to do but it's a pretty interesting feature of the game and then you're going to move into like a side scrolling platformer where you're adventuring around trying to find the item you're looking for which is pretty cool down the road in this game, it actually moves over to like a RPG style battles you get to participate in. They're interesting. I think it's super fun. This game, if you can have a little bit of patience and figure out some of that Kung Fu action, honestly, the rest of the game is fun, albeit a little difficult because of those Kung Fu battles, especially when you're in like the tournaments. Because you go to like a tournament every time you finish one of the side scrolling levels. But they really shot high on this one. And I think they landed a lot of their shots. This is a super fun game that you can get between like $24 and $32. Number two on this hidden gem list maybe isn't as much of a hidden gem. Because I'm sure a lot of us saw it. But I question how many of us actually played it. Because this game has the status of being the last game Nintendo produced for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah, it came out on the Super Nintendo, but this one, totally overlooked on the Nintendo in my opinion. It's gonna be Wario Woods. This is a really, really cool wild. Tetris kind of style puzzly game. I had so much fun with this. You run around as Toad, you're like in the tree, running around as Toad, and Birdo's up there, she's pretty chill. She's not causing any problems. The further into it you get, all of a sudden you'll get far enough in, and Birdo will just 
bail on you. And Wario shows up. And then he starts sending down more enemies that you got to get rid of. This one, some of the controls are a little finicky. But I found once I got them figured out, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Wario's Woods is a super fun game. If you're into those puzzler games, Dr. Mario, Tetris, stuff like that, this one... 100% find it and check it out. And you can pick this one up from like $31 to $40. Totally worth it. 100% worth $40 bucks if you can find it. The last one on my list is... I fell absolutely in love with this game. I'm in love! I'm in love! And I don't care who knows it! It was so much fun. I love RPGs. I love Final Fantasies, stuff like that. And this one knocked my socks off. This one might actually be one of my favorite RPGs on the system. It's going to be Destiny of an Emperor. This game. They do some really interesting things in this one. This is going to take place in like feudal China. And it's kind of historically accurate slightly, I think, from kind of the research I've done. But this is so much fun. You're cruising around. Guys just are like, hey, I want to join you. And okay. One thing you need to pay attention to that kind of bit me right when I first started. And the first play of it, I had a sour taste in my mouth. I'm not going to lie. Because you get guys, they come with no equipment. You have to equip them. And you have to make sure the equipment is equipped. Otherwise, you're just going to get trounced by the enemies. But once you get that figured out... It's super cool because you can cruise around. You're fighting enemies. It's got a really neat army system. Each character you see on the screen is like an army. So that's how many people are in their army is kind of your life. Another really cool feature with this one is the all-out attack. That all-out attack. You hit that, they just go to town. They just fight each other. You can for sure stop that or not do the all-out attacks. Because some of the battles you do need to be a little strategic for... But man, this game is so cool. And then you're cruising along. You end up fighting armies and they've got a general with them. Well, you beat them and you can hire that. Like that. He's like, oh, I want to join you now. Or you can like pay him to join you. So you can get so many characters in this. This is such a cool game. I loved every second I was playing this. I, I didn't want to put it down. Destiny Vampire is absolutely a hidden gem that if you've never played and you like RPG games, find it. You will not regret it. It is such a cool game. And it is going to hit that top part of our price point for this episode. You can pick Destiny of an Emperor up for like $33 to $44. But it is 100% worth it. Well, that's another five games that you can get for fairly cheap on the NES. There's a lot of them out there. And they're a lot of fun. Some of the cheaper games on the Nintendo are some of the funner games, in my opinion. That's just me. That's just what I think. So going forward, these videos about these, we're going to try to include some other folks in the community. So stick around. Check it out next month. And next month, hopefully, we've got uh, someone else's opinion on what they think is a good game that kind of falls in one of these categories. So until next time, I mean, if you like RPGs, go out. Find Destiny of an Emperor. It's so good. It's so good. If you like puzzle games, where is Woods? Who knew?